This is a mallet my dad made and covered the ends with uh, rawhide. That stick rawhide on a uh, uh, oak, uh, piece of oak wood. Still got the bark on it. Here's a couple uh, mallets that uh, Travis Scott made up in Oklahoma. They're uh, Bodar. Um, Handmade Bodark candles and big road, uh, Bodark. Uh, this was actually fence post. Um, and then I wrapped uh, a rawhide around and laced it up the top there for uh, strength to keep that from splitting. Um, let's see what it, I've got some um, rubbing sticks here. Um, this one is a hardwood. It's got different shapes on the end. You can rub leather, crease leather with sticks like this. This is a cow bone. I've used this quite often on uh, leather. As it's wet, you can uh, slick and rub it and uh, make the grain lay down. I've got some very old uh, leather slicking tools here made out of wood in different shapes that um, that uh, been around a long time. I've got a pretty primitive knife here. It's a uh, curved steel blade with a very sharp point on it. The steel is very good in this. This is lap, uh, wrapped with leather and has a copper rivet in the end here. I consider that to be a primitive tool. I've got a hand sewing awl that uh, a friend of mine, Chris, made. It's got a uh, I think he heated the back or drilled this uh, deer stag out and uh, epoxied this uh, uh, hand sewing all uh, the, the blade down into the uh, stag. This is really a pretty cool and it feels good um, hand stitching all. Here's a knife uh, made of a very thin saw blade and the uh, leather handles are just glued on here. Here's a blade I made. I'm not for sure what I made the steel out of. This is very old. Um, um, anyway, I heated the tang part and pressed it into a uh, uh, deer stag tip here. And that's also got some epoxy on it, I believe. Uh, recently, I made a couple edgers. Uh, this is deer stag here, and I stripped off some uh, uh, a saw blade, uh, circular saw material. Um, the newer blades are not quite as good as the old blades. Um, nowadays, the just the tips on a circular saw blade are hardened, where uh, a few years ago, the entire circular saw blade was good. Uh, premium steel and here's a little mini edger I made turned up and then I hand filed uh, my groove there and um, you can edge leather with this um, I just used a stick and some hardwood dowels for some of my stick man carvings here and uh, in a um, video coming up here soon I'm going to show you how to make a rawhide maul. I've got some handmade rawhide, rawhide uh, mallets, actually, that uh, work very well, as well as some uh, steel tools made out of bolts. Um, also, in the last couple Stickman uh, primitive technology videos, I uh, uh, made some uh, nails. Uh, leather stamping tools out of nails. So this is just a little update on some primitive leather working tools. And um, it's been fun on this series and um, I encourage you to kind of look back at the, um, let's see, uh, the primitive technology uh, uh, leather stamping uh, projects that I did. So uh, thanks for watching.